What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land and today's little update video is something regarding a game that I know lots of you guys do not like which is Fortnite. It seems like the whole Nintendo community hates this game but it looks like finally Fortnite is going to have a collaboration with Nintendo potentially. Now there was leaks in the past saying that Inkling had like some type of skin concept or weapon concept for uh, Fortnite and nothing ever came into fruition and there really hasn't been any Nintendo crossover. We know Fortnite crossovers are huge right now as they have Star Wars skins, Marvel skins, and they're even having video game skins come into the game. And they even had one with Borderlands, and now they're apparently doing one with God of War with a Kratos skin. Now, if you don't know, the new season just dropped, Season 5, the Zero Point, which focuses on bounty hunters. The whole season, all the Battle Pass, everything is bounty hunters. That's why the Mandalorian is in the Battle Pass as the first skin that you can retrieve. Now, it also states that more bounty hunters will be joining, and, you know, the whole theme of the season is recruiting more bounty hunters so obviously they have kratos and they plan on getting master chief apparently master chief was just leaked to come with his own little combo pack of different things what's very interesting about this is that you have a sony rep being kratos and a uh, microsoft rep being master chief well the last one we still don't have is Nintendo and who would fit perfectly in the Nintendo universe for a bounty hunter well the bounty hunter herself being Samus yes there is a real possibility that Samus from Metroid could appear as either a playable skin or something revolving Metroid in this Fortnite season now this isn't confirmed by anything this isn't even really leaked right now it's just a possibility since you know this is about bounty hunters and you know they've been looking for an opportunity to kind of work with nintendo they've said this before in different interviews um the creators of fortnite have and this is honestly the most perfect time to do this now if you don't like fortnite i understand and this is gonna make a lot of people upset oh you're gonna stoop low to put a skin in fortnite come on Fortnite right now is like the Smash Brothers of third-person shooters. They have collaborations across all over the world. I mean, movies, shows, you know, sitcoms, even video games. So it would make a perfect amount of sense for them to do a cool little skin collab. It wouldn't really affect anything with Nintendo. So, you know, Nintendo fanboys can calm down. But it will be fine. It will be just a cool way to, you know, cross over. And Nintendo has done this with other companies before. And I think it would be a really cool way to have a skin within Fortnite. Now, I don't know how they would do it with her suit. Obviously, she has an arm cannon. You could have, like, two arms just like that uh, faulty amiibo that shipped out that one time uh, or you could just have the zero suit samus form where it's just her and her blue uh, zero suit and I think that would work perfectly fine as well you could have her spaceship as a glider and I'm sure they could come up with different back blings or whatever else they want to you know come up with there's so much potential with a Metroid collaboration there um, but what's very interesting is Fortnite does have a announcement at the Game Awards they just released a new season so who knows what the announcement's going to be and lots of people think the announcement's going to regard some type of big crossover with another company or something like that and there's been like kind of hints at potentially a Fortnite character coming to smash i don't think that's going to happen uh but i think the announcement could be that collaboration with nintendo and they just decided to put a skin in Fortnite from nintendo and that's going to be samus from metroid obviously this season is heavy focus on bounty hunters they say it even throughout the trailer you can watch the trailer yourself so it would be a pretty big letdown if they just completely missed the biggest bounty hunter probably in you know the world right now for video gaming being metroid you know obviously metroid isn't so relevant right now but when metroid prime 4 comes out it's going to be a big deal they gotta have samus in there but what do you guys think well i can pretty much already assume what most of you think this is a terrible idea nintendo should definitely not do this but i actually think it's going to be a really cool idea to have samus you know just appear in fortnite as you know a way to kind of get her you know attention back up get her excited get people excited about metroid again because there's still a large fan base playing fortnite so i might as well get them saying who the heck is metroid who is samus is what is all this stuff together who yeah they will say who is metroid because some of my friends still say it but you know regardless this is going to be very exciting what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed today's update make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new to stay up to date on all things nintendo thank you guys so much for tuning in and like always i will see you on the next one see you guys